Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to explain to you what you can do if you run into a 404 file not found on the web. Now in this case I was experimenting and working on some PowerPoint add-ins and I had a question and I was referred in a forum to this particular page and when I got to the page you can see that I'm getting a 404 not found. Now I did try and sort of knock pieces off this URL to see if I could get a solution but no I simply cannot get access to a page here. So this is what I did and I just think it's really interesting and a really quick way of solving the problem that I wanted to share with you. So I've selected the URL and I've copied it and now I'm going to what's called the Wayback Machine. It's web.archive.org and when you go there you can get access to stories copies of web pages. So all you're going to do is just paste in here the URL that you were having problems accessing. So I'm just going to do that and click and you can see here that this page was actually saved a few times and what I'm interested in is the most recent save of it. So I'm going here to 2022 and I'm going to this November save date. There are a couple of snapshots of this site so again I'm just going to select the newest one because I want to see what the site looked like as recently as possible. If I need to I can work back if things are missing but for now I just want to go to the most recent version before it all appears to have disappeared. And so now what we're doing is we're looking at the website as it was. So I now have access to everything that was on that web page that I just got a 404 from. So this is going to give me some information that I need and that I'm going to be interested in. I don't know why it was removed. That's not really relevant right now, although I'm going to be obviously concerned that this might be out of date information, but I can make that call. What the problem was, was that I didn't have access to any of that information. So anytime that you find that you run into a 404 and you think it's perhaps because the web page has been pulled down, then you can always go to the Wayback Machine and see if it helps you. It's certainly well worth it and to me it worked this morning and I just wanted to share that with you because I think it's really, really helpful information. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.